Hello everyone, I'm Priya. I work as the chef de cuisine at Yarana, Singapore. Yarana is a modern Indian restaurant where we combine great food with great ambience by the river Kala. Apart from that, I work as a consultant chef for other restaurants and I teach culinary under my brand, Sofu Creation. So that's all about me. So before I start my recipe, I would like to thank Amul India for giving me this platform. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a mushroom crustal. Crustal is a French culinary term for a crispy shell or a crust. And this crust you can make with bread, with the puff pastry, with um, rice, grated potatoes, and even with the vermicelli. And the filling also you can make with mushrooms, paneer, um, chicken, ham, minced meat, the choice is yours. So today, I'll be showing you how to make with bread which is one of the most easily available and uh, the filling I'll be making with mushrooms and bell peppers. So I'll be using two types of mushroom, which is a Swiss brown mushroom and the white button mushroom. It's not necessary that you have to use brown mushroom. If it's not available, you can just use the white button mushroom. And then garlic, white onion, then bell peppers. I'm using three. If you know it's not available in your place, you can just stick to one. It's up, up to you. And the spring onions, then some parsley, Italian parsley and the chives. Chives are using for the garnish. And I'm using some amul grated cheese and uh, butter. Then cream is a uh, plain flour, seasoning powder. So this is a all purpose seasoning powder. If you don't have the seasoning powder in your place, you can always use a small piece of vegetable cube. So the vegetable cube. So don't put any vegetable stock because we don't want the mix to be gooey. And uh, salt, please check the seasoning. And if you think that the seasoning is less, then you put the uh, salt. Then cayenne pepper and black pepper. If the cayenne pepper is not available, just use your normal Kashmiri chili powder. And uh, Parmesan cheese, you will do it for the finishing later. I'll start with the filling because the filling has to get cool before you make it. I've prepared some filling in here. So this will be the filling I'll be making. I'll show you how to make the filling now. And it's a very easy recipe because um, the crust can be made ahead and you keep it like a couple of days before and uh, in an airtight container. And even the filling you can make and keep it ahead. So only the finishing when you have a party, you just need to do the finishing by you know, well, the fill the case with the filling, then you sprinkle some parmesan cheese and bake it in the preheated oven and uh, for three to four minutes and you're done. And it's, I promise you, it's a really uh, yummy appetizer. It will be always a crowd pleasing. So these are the shells which I have prepared and kept, but I'll be making again. So see, stress is this one I made it yesterday. I'll make again how to, I'll give a demo how to make it. So I'll put some butter first. I'm uh, using around 100 grams of uh, mushroom, 100 grams of white and 100 grams of uh, brown mushroom. So if you increase the quantity, please increase all the ingredients. I will put in my Insta handle, which is Chef Priya Joseph. And when you're using butter, it's better to put a little bit of oil so for this recipe, I'm using olive oil because why we are putting this? Because uh, if you add oil, it prevents the butter from burning. So let it get hot first. It's already warm. Uh, don't make it too hot because we don't want the um, garlic to get burned immediately. So first we put the garlic so that the flavor get infused in the oil. Now we put the uh, onions, white onions. We don't need to make it brown because we just need to make it translucent. Translucent means like a, like slightly pink. So we don't have to over brown it. So now I'll put, can you see at this stage, I'll put the mushrooms. And when you're cooking mushrooms, right, you don't put all the mushrooms at one time because we don't want um, the water comes out from the mushroom. We are not uh, stewing the mushroom. 
So we just need to get stir fried. Like you know, you have to saute the mushroom. So if you put too much mushroom at one time, what happens is a lot of moisture will come out because the mushroom has a lot of water content. And now I'll put the remaining one. So people who don't like the um, bell peppers, you can you can avoid it because I add the bell peppers because and the spring onions because it gives a nice crunch. Otherwise, everything will be a little gooey. So now I'll add uh, my seasoning powders. It's the all-purpose seasoning powder. And I'll add the canned pepper. A pinch. I will not put the salt now. I will check the seasoning later and I'll add it if it's required. Some black pepper. Can you see there is no water coming out? So at this stage, I will put the flour. The flour gives a little bit of binding. Now I will reduce the fire. Stir for a few seconds. Now I'll add the cream and the cheese. This is uh, Amul processed cheese and the cream. The bell peppers, I'll put it later because I, I want that crunch. Now I'll put the bell peppers and the spring onions. The so all three colors. And uh, finally, I'll put some parsley also. It's a very easy one. You can see, and it will not take even five minutes to make the filling once you have done all your prep work. So, I'll put some parsley. If you don't have the uh, fresh parsley, you can uh, buy the dried one. I'm not using the English parsley, I'm using the Italian. So if it's not available, please go ahead with the English parsley. So the filling is done. So we cannot use it immediately because it has to get cooled down completely. Otherwise your crust, the prepared crust will become soggy. So I'll keep this aside and I will use the filling which I already prepared a while back. Okay, so I'll keep this aside. Now I will do the crust, how to make the crust. For this, yeah, I'm using, and before the, keeping the, uh, you can put a wet tissue or a kitchen cloth or whatever, so that you know, it will be firm. That's how in the restaurants also we use it, so that you get a nice grip. Now I'll cut the, it's not necessary you have to use this kind of cutter, you can use a um, uh, glass or a, uh, small bowl which is circular okay and you will think what i'll do with this right because it will become a waste no it will not become a waste what you can do is that you can make croutons out of it see and these croutons you can use for your salads, your soups and all. And it's very easy to make. Just cut it into the edges. Make it a square. And uh, square or rectangle doesn't matter. And then in the olive oil, just add some herbs. I put Italian herbs, some chili flakes, some garlic powder and a pinch of salt. I mixed it. And then once you cut it, just put the, all the, you know, the small cubes in a bowl. Toss it well. Then... 
uh, while you are baking itself, you can put on uh, parchment paper, layer it and bake it 180 degree for like 7 to 8 minutes or 6 minutes depending upon your oven temperature. And you will get like really, you know, nice croutons which you can use for your salads and your soups. So everybody will not have the tart molds like this. So for them, you can always use your muffin pan also. So the method is same, you cut a circular disc like this and uh, always grease it, grease it and push it inside and you can use it. So the temperature, everything is same. You have to preheat the oven at 180 degree for approximately like 10 minutes and then bake it at eight minutes for seven to eight minutes. And that one I'll show you now. I've greased some in it, so, um, so you have to grease it generously. So you get nice. And we burn crispy also, the bread will get crispy. Can you see? It should not have any air pockets. Like this. So no need to prick or anything. It's just nice to go into the oven. Only the important thing is that you have to push this part nicely because so that we will not get you no know, air pockets. And uh, better to keep like this and turn it so that you know the the sides are equal size. Okay, so I'll put it in the uh, oven to bake now. Make sure it sticks nicely. Huh? I'll keep it in the oven for eight minutes. So meanwhile, I can I'll feed the the one which is already prepared. I prepared this before and it's cool already, so it's ready to use. So just fill it almost full. Then Don't put too much cream or don't put any wet uh, li liquid stock because it will make the filling very gooey and we don't want watery. Uh, so I'll put the parmesan cheese on top. So till uh, this part, right, you can make, make it ahead. Like you now the filling can be made ahead. The shell can be made ahead. Only the during the time of like, you know, if you have got some guests coming, only this part you need to do it. Uh, a minute like just before serving you can use the filo sheets also but yeah the crust the texture will be different so it's up to you so soon I'll keep it aside so I'm doing a very basic painting because I know that this Show is meant for the home cooks, so no need to do very elaborate plating at all. It's a simple plating, just put some greens for the color. So a very simple one. So just we just need to have a nice platter, um, red or white or black. It will look very nice rather than the platters which has always in the restaurant also we don't uh, use platters with bold designs we always go for the simple ones so that we can showcase like you know what you're making like the, all the designs like whatever we make the splashes and all it comes out well on our plain platters after once you take it out from the oven we need to keep it on a wire rack so that uh, it gets cooled from the bottom nicely and it doesn't become soggy 
So if you don't have, yeah, just keep it on a plate, like not dry plate where uh, like it can get cool. So the shells are ready. So can you see? It's uh, nice and crispy, so I'll just keep it on the. This uh, the mold will be very hot. Please don't go and touch it. I'm just touching only the bread. I will use the same pan to. These are super hot. So. And you are done. So, so when when you are entertaining guests, you know you could see make out right. It just take four minutes, uh, like you know, once it is ready, everything is ready. Just put the filling, put the topping, preheat the oven and keep it, and then pop it in the oven. So the shells can be made ahead. So it's really nice, it's very crispy shells, and you can put it in a Tupperware like the one I showed you, like you know, so that it remain uh, crispy. But not too many days, just one or two day, couple of days is the maximum and don't keep it in the fridge, just leave it outside. The croutons also can be made like, um, you can make and keep it for four to five days, nothing will happen. Put in an airtight container, so with uh, so with nothing goes waste. For uh, this much recipe, the amount of uh, 100 gram of mushroom and all, I have used like one, one by four teaspoon of uh, cayenne pepper and uh, one eighth of uh, seasoning powder not much because the seasoning powder is just to give uh, some flavor and don't put too much because you will get you know the taste will be too much of oil and I don't want that you know, too much of seasoning just a nice flavor that's all so one, one, one by eight of a spoon will be more than enough for uh, the quantity of the mushroom I do so if you don't have the all purpose seasoning powder like I said before please use the vegetable cube not the liquid stock So you don't have to like know the cheese to be really so it's just the should just slightly melt that's more than enough so we don't want to make the crust too brown just a bit of chives on the top i hope uh, the recipe is very clear to all of you and uh, i promise you this is a uh, really interesting uh, appetizer and people will love it. I've taught this in a lot of my classes and people used to really enjoy this. And please do try it home and uh, once you try, please click a picture and tag me in, your, in my Insta handle so I can see your creations and uh, hopefully I can see you again and uh, when the world opens up and when you travel to Singapore Please do visit Yarana. I would look, I would like to look forward to seeing all of you, and uh, see you sometime in a, with another recipe. And uh, take care. So bye bye. Signing off.